Alright guys, back on video, and this time we're going to be doing something a little different before we get into the video and the meat and the, and the like potatoes of the actual video and what we're going to discuss going forward. I want you guys to take a moment to ch click the link tree in the description. Follow all of these things if you have them, so TikTok. When we get to a thousand followers, I'll be able to start streaming there and growing the game. Uh, when it comes to growing DBS as a community, we should be looking to doing this in general. I don't know anybody that streams actual gameplay for TikTok on TikTok. Let's do it. I see people watching Yu-Gi-Oh! people play in real life hilariously enough, and they get entertainment out of that. I would love to see the game get more traction as a whole on TikTok, as TikTok is one of the biggest growing platforms. Check out the Facebook Airfare Gaming, I updated the name and changed things, and you can ch get all the news about new merchandise and uh, new videos and stuff whenever I get those posted. I'm going to start sharing links here so you guys can find them. So just in case you want to get updated on them, make sure you follow them. Then you got the Instagram. This is mainly we're going to do our giveaways. If you want to win free t-shirts, maybe boxes, deck boxes, stuff like that, we need to get this this page up to a thousand followers ASAP. It's new, so that's why there's not very much on it for now. And then, obviously, the Shopify. This is where you get merchandise to support me and my endeavors going forward when it comes to, like, if you actually want to represent the brand. It's awesome. We've got some cool t-shirts for everybody, and there's going to be more designs added as we go on. If you have any ideas for merch or you want to see something special, uh, we're going to have some exclusive deck boxes and play mats and stuff like that and we also have binders coming soon obviously you, know, you check out you get free shipping on any order of fifty dollars so keep that in mind as well when you're, when you're visiting the site and if you want to order you and your buddy a shirt at the same time you get free shipping but the real thing we want to talk about today other than the link trees in the description check out the hermit style discord that is my team and we have an amazing community there for everybody to check out and communicate and play games and um, we also are there to help each other out and also I'm still on the PBG Patreon uh, if you guys need to join that and uh, get assistance there I'm, I mean I'm there to help so make sure to, to tag me in that if you're in the PBG Patreon to get started we're going to talk about the options for Unison Warrior only format I do think that this format will be a little better than it would have been at Nationals, even though the side event looked like it was pretty diverse as people were trying to get adjusted as, as the set 15 had just been released and it was the only event for it. But with set 16 coming out, with Unison Warrior only format for these festivals coming out soon, shout out to Bandai, I appreciate you for having these events when Konami and other places are closing down their events. Um, we're still pushing forward with good events and new product and trying to make sure that everybody's joining in the game. Uh, we should be thankful that Winthic Booster is being, being mass printed, even though it is pretty cheap and it does hurt some of the stores and stuff like that. It is make, a lot more people are joining into the game now. Uh, people coming back that used to play because they see their cards are much cheaper than they were interested in. Uh, SS3 Thwarty and the Dark Empire is a dollar now, uh, for now. Probably it's going to grow quite a bit with the amount of players joining in, but I digress. Let's get into it. We're going to go by color. What decks you can actually play inside a Unison Warrior format that I would recommend. The U7 Goku here. Um, I'm not really going to go into detail the actual list, but only... Like, the entire deck is from set 16 and, uh, I think, set 14. That's pretty much it. And then you, there's a few more support cards in between there, like free negates and stuff like that. So, keep that in mind. This is a really good option. Uh, most of the other options are not that great. U7 Gohan is not very bad. It's very similar to this, but um, both U7 decks are pretty cool. Jiren, awesome option. Vegeta, awesome option. Uh, the new Broly, pretty cool. Not not a terrible option, but you will be missing out on Broly Crown, so I probably wouldn't recommend this one, as you are losing some of your options. Cooler is not available to be played. Uh, launch is multicolor, so both of these get hurt bad. The SSB Gogeta, not too terrible. But for red, mainly U7 Goku, and I would say Jiren are pretty decent options. So let's go to the next color. We're going to change this filter. You're going to see this me live editing it so you're able to see. Blue is the tough spot. This is where things are getting rough as you cannot really play Soul Striker as you're losing the Saiyan Instincts, Senzu Bean, Dimension Magic, Fu, Shrouded, and Multicolor Super Combo. Um, so basically it is 
not the best deck. And it's not the worst deck, but it's not the best deck. You can also play the skillless engine as this one is. And so like that. Kaba is not terrible. 16 is not playable. Zamasu getting a boost. Other than losing Senzu Bean and D-Magic, this deck is pretty strong. You do lose the draw ape, which is kind of important as well. The draw ape is a very key part of the the blue package because the deck needs to make sure your the decks need to draw cards. But it's not that necessary um, to play the deck in general. Future Trunks doesn't really need Bean, D-Magic, or... Um, ape to function so this might be your blue deck of choice in my opinion but and then you have the skillless gohan doesn't really need those other cards but it doesn't hurt to have them the tragedy is not terrible baby not the best in my opinion but those are the real options so to recap on blue um pick your poison if you really 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 are dead set on playing blue they're all about on the same power level i do think probably after this set um, you got the, the new blue yellow check land. This might be your best option for blue uh, for blue yellow Zamasu. Not the and then you have Kaba's pretty cool too. So we're gonna go to yellow. So in my opinion, the yellow is very very strong for this format. Trunks and Vegeta leader, awesome. Icarus, awesome. Sin Shinron, awesome. And you are not able to play some of these other leaders. As well as you would normally. The Goku Black is still pretty cool. If you can figure it out what to do without the regular Dragon Balls. Go for it. This was going to be a very powerful option in the regular format in my opinion. Then you have Go Tanks. Not that bad. Whenever King Cold is my is going to be one of the the threat, big threats. Because you draw cards, all the all their extra cards. And then you have Golden Freeza, not legal. And you have a few other leaders, not legal. But other than that, you have most of the main yellow threats. Um, my favorite one of these is probably still Icarus, but that's just, I'm biased, so. Then you got the blue-green, no, sorry, the yellow-green variant, I really like that a lot. Um, with, it's really just an engine you splash in, but, uh, then you have, and you can also play that any of these decks. Any of these yellow decks can play the yellow-green engine, which is cool. So we're gonna go to green, and in this is where it becomes very centralized and very obvious that King Cold is really just your only option. Um, the entire deck, the entire deck minus a few cards is legal. No, no copies of Paragus, no copies of Zamasu, uh, th no copies of this. But the rest of the deck, this just gets replaced by the new card. If you really want to play that type of card, the deck is there. You, I think you have to change super combos. Yeah, you have to change super combos. But like that doesn't really make a difference. Like you're gonna see all your all your deck and, and then all these cards are just so efficient at cost. And you have to edit some ratios and stuff like that. And you have your own only like pseudo topo for one energy. The deck is really strong for you in some only format. Keep that in mind. King Code is pretty much the only option in my opinion. Uh, let's let's make sure that we're not missing anything. We have for green that is. Uh, Raditz is not terrible. So and Go Tanks is not terrible. Uh, Videl, you could really get away with playing it for funsies, but you will be missing some good cards that would make the deck better. And TN's not the worst. So, and then you got the new God Leaders, which are pretty cool with the 20k on the back. So, if you can get away with that, but I think you're missing some cards when you're playing that deck. But correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. And then Black, uh, you have the Rainbow Bardock, Gogeta Zeno, very strong. Sin Shinron Mill, very powerful, uh, at, especially in a format where it's limited. Then you have Super Saiyan God Trunks, which is very strong in my opinion. I'm not sure if AOD is legal. Let's see. I cannot remember if these cards are actually legal. I think you're missing this. Yep, can't play this deck because Bobbity is not legal. So keep that in mind. Don't play. You can't play AOD really. Um, Supreme Kai Time not terrible. Some of these other mill strategies like Vegex is legal still. Uh, but you are losing Koitsukai. Very very hard to play that type of strategy without Koichukai. And all the multicolor stuff, except for like, um, the decks that only like play the splashable engine, which is just the yellow-green, and the uh, Kaba type strategy for the U6. Other than that, I'm, I don't think you can really get away with playing the multicolor strategies. Because you're missing the super combos. The other decks don't really technically need the super combos because you have the free combo cards and stuff like that. But, what do you guys think about Unison Warrior only for me? I think it's interesting that they're doing it for the side of... It's basically... These events are basically just big side events um, with, with, cool support, with cool prize support. And they want 
to support the players that are newer, that don't have access to some of these draft bots cards, even though they did reprint a bunch of it recently. So that is kind of weird. But um, the game is still going to be growing going forward, especially as people are going to be really wanting to open set 16. And I feel like Bandai prepared this time. I have a lot of product coming for the set. So it's going to be massively open. So I do suggest uh, supporting your local game stores when it comes to this so they continue to open pro uh, order product, even though it will, you'll be able to find this stuff at Target and Walmart most likely. Um, especially with Mystic Booster, this is, is a time period where stores got hurt pretty bad by it because the... MSRP is so high and it's very cheap on TCG player for like $65 to $70 a box so keep that in mind when you're at your locals that it might be hurt you to pay for a little bit more for a box than you would online but it helps them uh, support you in the long run when it comes to getting product also make sure to order pre-order your product for set 16 so you're not left without trying to pull the really cool secret rare and stuff like that so but um from this video Tell me what you really want to see in more content like this going forward, okay? I do appreciate you guys supporting me, whether it's on uh, about following a page or smashing the like button or leaving a comment. All that type of stuff helps me out, especially following my other platforms. Those are going to grow as, as time goes, but I need you guys to help me out when it comes to that. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.